Got like. Ooh, we. <laughs> Nobody's ever gonna take your place Yeah, I think we should meet in the middle I'll follow you cause you're the light of the day Artlist I.O. I need you like you need me, it's so simple Music licensing reimagined. Hey y'all, hey y'all, welcome back, welcome back. So, okay, let me go ahead and get started. So, today is August 10th, um, and it's Saturday, 2024, and it's 1 o'clock p.m. So today I'm officially 36 weeks. I've made it this far. Alhamdulillah. I'm so glad. So I'm anticipating on having this baby between this week and next week. <laughs> so, yeah. And I have prepared myself. Just early this morning, I made this. Okay. It's my labor and delivery info. And then in the inside, I just have... Oh, that's bright. Oh, my goodness. It's sunshine. I just have my medical demographics and I have my birth preference so yeah see I just I don't know if you can see that or not whatever okay <laughs> just I just put my birth preference in there and like I said my medical demographics and everything when well, you know it just includes like my past medical history my name medical you know um emergency contact information Things of that nature, so. Um, so I'm gonna give you guys some updates. I'm gonna give you my updates first before I go into like the baby center stuff. Okay, so what's been going on this week with me? I'm gonna start with this morning, okay? So earlier this morning, I had really bad acid reflux. I mean like real bad to the point where like I think I had drank some milk or something. This is like lactose free milk, so this is not even um, dairy, okay? It's not in dairy milk. So I drank it, got real tired, fell asleep, and it came up my throat and it burned so bad. Usually, the majority of the acid reflux I've been getting lately is nothing coming up. I mean, it's com something coming up, but like it's not like food or liquid or anything like that it's mostly been like acid gas you know what i'm saying it's coming on my throat and it burns but when liquid comes up it burns horrible even worse than the gas okay so that happened about like 4 30 i think or something like that this morning oh the sun is just beaming oh my goodness 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 oh my gosh mm. What is this? Oh, what is the temperature today? Hold on, let me check the temperature right quick. 86 degrees, goodness. Let me see. Yeah, 86 degrees outside today. Oof. Okay, anyways, I have to go on my calendar because the stuff that happened to me this week, I wrote it on my calendar. Okay, so, okay, August 6th, right, 2024. Okay. This is the day I had my ultrasound. So like I said um, in my previous videos, I get ultrasounds weekly, okay? So this day I had my ultrasound was before um, the morning, where was it, the morning of it? Oh, I had really bad acid reflux that day too, I guess. Let me see, hold on. No, 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 my bad. Okay, let me, let me go back to the six, okay? So, 
I'll go back to the fifth. Okay. So on the fifth, I had physical therapy because I've been having um, weekly physical therapy as well because uh, I've been having back pain, leg pain, pelvic pain. I've been having all kinds of pain, horrible sciatica in my left leg, all that kind of stuff. Okay. Recently, I've been having headaches, so that's another one of my symptoms. Previously, I said I have not been getting no headaches, but as of recent, like this week, I've been getting headaches. What the heck was that? <laughs> anyway, so I had my physical therapy. That was on the 5th. The 6th, right? So the next day, at around 1 o'clock p.m., somewhere between 12, 30, 1 o'clock, right, I start getting Braxton Hitz contractions. Now, these weren't just regular Braxton Hitz contractions, okay? These Braxton Hitz contractions were painful because they were followed up with like a cramping pain along with like a, I mean sharp pain like sharp pain with my Braxton Hicks and it continued on it was like back to back to back to back like it would go away come back like they were like a minute or two apart like seriously they were probably like two minutes apart and it was like back to back I mean where they was sharp and painful I was like oh my god like my husband was like are you sure that it's not um, like labor I'm like, like you're not going to labor. I'm like I'm sure this is Braxton Hicks I know like it would get way worse it would start getting worse and it didn't like the pain the level of pain did not like worse and get worse it stayed at the level I would say it was like a level like in a scale from 1 to 10 it was like at 8 and that, so that was pretty painful like it really was really painful like like it was put a point I was getting ready to cry I had like tears coming out my eyes and everything because it was just that painful but I knew it wasn't like true labor and maybe I should have called my doctor or something I don't know but I just I, I thugged it out and I was like you know what I'm gonna see what happens and um so that went on for about a good what felt like two hours I didn't time it but it might have been about one to two hours that this was going on for and I stayed home I didn't go to the hospital or nothing like that and I just waited for it to ew, what the heck ew I ran into like a spider web that was nasty um I just waited for it to go away and I said you know what if this goes on for one more hour then I'm gonna go to the hospital so finally I would say maybe like 15 to 20 minutes after I said that it went away so I was like it started dying down the pain became less and I was still having some Braxton Hicks but they were like further apart at this point and they were getting less the the sharp pain went away so that was that okay yeah and again that was on the 6th that was August 6th okay okay so the next thing Thursday August 8th um, I woke up with that was the day I woke up with horrible, horrible acid reflux that day. I mean, it was just so bad. Like, it was horrible. <laughs> and that was 4.30 in the morning. <sighs> let me see. Oh, yeah, let me tell you. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm glad I wrote everything up. Okay, because I would have forgot about all this. So, the acid reflux, right? It was so bad, y'all. Y'all, have you ever had acid reflux where your ears burn like yo my ears was burning that's how bad my acid I'm, never in my life never in my history of pregnancies have I had acid reflux this bad I'm telling you yo my ears was burning my throat was burning I was coughing oh my god my when I was coughing right my legs started hurting you ever had symptoms where it made something else you like it triggered another symptom <laughs> yo my left leg started hurting when I was coughing my, the, the acid reflux was causing my ears to burn I was like yo what the heck this was crazy I forgot about that because the day before I had ate some pizza I was good I was straight like all day right I ate the pizza I was good about like I don't know what time I ate that oh, okay it was around five six o'clock okay in the, in the afternoon the evening okay and I didn't have no acid reflux. That was good. I drank some water. Had some, excuse me, had some ice. All that good stuff, right? 
and um yeah and I was around like yeah I did all that okay so I was good so okay so you figure right after you eat everything you don't have that's a reflux or but five six o'clock you give your body time when you're pregnant you know what I'm saying especially this far along I'm in third trimester so you figure you give your body time to digest everything you know you good all day all night you go to sleep you're fine and then I wake up 4 30 in the morning and this is when I'm experiencing everything and it was bad like then I slightly got dehydrated, so I started drinking water. I was eating ice and everything. And that was up, I was up until 2 30 in the morning. I could not sleep. I became real irritable. I could not sleep for nothing. And I was up, let me see. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. So I did that to about, I ate about three, four cups of ice, I swear to God. And I had some water and all that, right? Um, so I finally got to sleep. Okay, yeah that was after all that kind of stuff so yeah because I was up all night before I had the acid reflux I was up to 2 30 in the morning because I couldn't get to sleep for some reason so that's when 4 30 in the morning because I, I finally got to sleep around 2 30 or whatever a.m. after drinking all the water eating the three four cups of ice like I swear to God like oh wait <laughs> big old beetle or something oh my god okay <laughs> oh sorry y'all I think flew right by me I was like <laughs> I don't know what that was <laughs> so yeah anyways okay 2 30 in the morning I finally got to sleep my body finally gave in I was mad tired okay went to sleep 4 30 I think I mean 2 30 in the morning woke back up 4 30 in the morning boom that's when the acid reflux hit me I didn't go back to sleep after that. <laughs> okay, I'm so glad I wrote all this stuff down because I completely forgot about everything. So, that was the worst. Like, that was one of my worst experiences aside from the other times when I had acid reflux and I was throwing up and vomiting. Like, yo, know, this has been the worst. I have had the worst symptoms during this pregnancy than I have in any other pregnancy. This is pregnancy number, this is gonna be baby number eight. Okay. So, yeah, I've had like 10 in total and the other ones, I didn't, they were not successful pregnancies, so um, I'm not going to talk about that. But uh, anyway, that's what happened that day, right? Okay. So, that same day, later on in the day, I had my ultrasound, everything went good, but the only thing is my baby's... My baby is small, so yeah, they told me the baby's still small. Um, I read the baby's good, everything looks good. You know, they do the, um, what's that called? Doppler, they do the Dopplers, right? Where they listen to like the blood flow through the umbilical cord and they check the size of the baby, I guess, and the weight and all that kind of stuff or whatever. It measures the circumference of the baby's head, the um, torso, and things of that nature. Okay, so everything else is good about the baby. My amniotic fluid is straight. Everything else is straight. Just my baby, for some reason, is just measuring small. Um, yeah, my baby's like, they said the estimate was like four pounds and some, some odd ounces or whatever. My husband said it was four pounds, nine ounces. I mean, that's close to five, so I don't know. But, um yeah that was that was good um okay the next day let me see today is saturday so yeah and that was the eighth yeah that was the same day so that was thursday that was just this past thursday okay but yeah that's the updates here <sighs> This pregnancy has been just a roller coaster ride, like for real. It's up and down, up and down, twists and turns, and whew, everything. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, for real. Okay, anyways, now that I'm done with all that, I'm gonna get into what the baby center says, okay? 
And um, again, I just want to remind that the baby center just gives estimate. This is not like a reflection on, you know, what somebody's, how the world? Okay, let me like, oh, okay, hold on. Okay, yo, let me tell you, this is not a, oh, hold on. This is not a reflection on what your baby is supposed to be. This is just an estimate of, you know, what general, you know, a general estimate. So, um, 36 weeks. So it says, oh, this is cool real quick. Okay, so now I'm 36 weeks, right? In the baby center, I get to choose whether I do fruits and vegetables or I do breakfast foods. <laughs> That's funny. So when it comes to breakfast food, it says your baby is about the size of a gift basket of muffins. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> when it comes to a vegetable, it says your baby is about the size of romaine lettuce. I think this is the first. I think because I updated it, now it gives you the option to do either fruits and vegetables or breakfast foods because I never had that option before. So, anyway, the length that says again, this is just general. So, this is not say everybody's baby is this size or everybody's baby is this weight. So, it says the length is 18.62 inches from head to toe, weight 6.20 ounces. My baby is unfortunately nowhere near that right now so that's that for a baby okay um, the highlight it says I have four weeks to go we'll see how far I go I may be going in one or two weeks I may be going into the hospital one or two weeks I prefer I hope baby maybe by next week or the week after that would be great because I am tired of being pregnant I am so over it <laughs> there's just nothing cute left like except for ultrasound pictures and this week i'm supposed to be going to oh, these bees and bugs oh my god i'm supposed to be going to my um prenatal appointment because i've been having them like every two weeks but i'm supposed to be going to my prenatal appointment they said they're going to do some kind of testing or whatever um like a strep or something but they, when they do a vaginal and um anal swab yeah i don't know whatever <laughs> so hopefully everything there goes fine so at this point um, this is baby's getting in position which I'm an ultrasound the baby was um, head down it's in my uterus and the baby was facing my spine so it says most babies have gotten into a position for birth by now facing your spine yeah so that's what was going on with their heads down if your baby is breached bottom down your provider might try to manually turn them by applying pressure to their uh, to your abdomen okay you're supposed to be having weekly prenatal visits it says more frequent at the end of the pregnancy you'll see your provider once a week into delivery they'll continue to check your blood pressure weight and urine and watch for complications so that's good okay if you give birth this week this is a t the title that says if you give birth this week okay so if your baby arrives at 36 weeks they'll be considered late preterm you will have the same chance of being healthy as a full-term infant yeah, um, I've had three of my, three of my boys actually came at 36 weeks, so they were just fine. They, 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 um, they didn't have to go to the NICU or nothing like that. It came out perfectly well. Okay, so let's see. Your baby. Let's see what it says about the baby. Okay, it says your baby's lungs. Again, with these, because they're really long and extended, I'm not going to read the whole entire thing. Okay, you guys, if you want to know what it says on the Baby Center, just download the app yourself and read through it if you're pregnant right now, or even if you're not pregnant and you just want to know, like, you know, because you're preparing, you're trying to get pregnant or whatever the case may be, you go, you go look this up on the Baby Center, okay? Your baby's lungs, okay? So your baby's lungs are ready for the outside world. When your newborn inhales for the first time, within about 10 seconds after delivery, um oh their lungs expand and any fluid remaining in the i don't know alveoli <laughs> is replaced with their air okay this one wasn't that long extended so that was basically the whole thing that was the whole gist of it okay so they uh so i didn't even know that okay it sounds like ravioli <laughs> um so their lungs okay so they inhale for the first time okay that's good that's good yeah okay baby bones are hardening see how this one, I probably won't read the whole thing. See, baby bones are hardening. Your baby bones are hardening 
though they're still softer than an adult. Some are made entirely of flexible cartilage that are gradually replaced by bone throughout the child throughout childhood. Okay, so yeah, that's all I'm gonna read of that. Um, the next one, the next subtitle is making meconium. So your baby's shred or no shedding most of their downy covering of hair, lanugo or lanugo, as well as the waxy substance burnix castosa. That I don't know. Maybe I hopefully I'm saying it right, but I don't know that protected their skin in the womb. And it says your baby swallows both of these substances along with their secre other secretions, secretions, creating a blackish mixture called the meconium that you will see in their first few poops. Okay, so that was just that. So they, they're they swallowing hair, ew, I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know they were swallowing hair and waxy stuff. I knew I found out just this time just during this pregnancy that they swallowed their pee and I didn't even know that yeah I didn't know so I just I'm just finding out all this new information you learn something new all the time you know what I'm saying okay so I'm not gonna read the other one because it's about having twins you know whatever it's just learn more about twins being 36 weeks pregnant and I'm not gonna go there because I'm not having twins so okay anyways your body so, pregnancy symptoms, let's get into that. Cramping. Mild cramping throughout pregnancy is normal and usually harmless. Cramping can be caused by issues like bloating, constipation, and round ligament pains. And I'm gonna stop right there. Um, and it talk, goes on to talk about more cramping and Braxton Hicks and things of that nature. Um, so yeah, I've experienced all that. I've been experiencing Braxton Hicks. Um, yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> um, they don't. They generally do not hurt. As a general rule of thumb, Braxton Hicks contractions do not hurt. They just tighten your stomach. But like I said, this past week, that was I don't know what that was. I don't know what to call that. But that was painful, like very painful. Like and it was all in my front, y'all, because the sharp pains was right in my stomach while my stomach was tightening. So imagine having. You know when you have round ligament pains and it's like right there in your stomach and they're like sharp period pains like imagine having that while my stomach was tightening up real real tight and getting really really hard yeah mm -mm. okay headaches yeah that's something I just experienced within since that painful since those painful contractions that was another thing I was having headaches it caused me to have headaches and that's when I started having headaches so that was what I said the 6th August 6th yeah so pregnancy can increase the frequency of your headaches or migraines though not always okay and one study about two-thirds of women oh i'm sweating like something dripping down my back like a sweat dripping down my back something ew okay in one study about two-thirds of women who were prone to them noticed that their migraines actually improved when they were pregnant to each their own you know women experience different things during pregnancy yeah, that, I mean, the headache wasn't like that excruciating, but that, that headache that I had was, my head was hurting, <laughs> kind of pounding a little bit. But I haven't had like terrible headaches since then. It's just been like a little off and like I had a little like headache and like, it felt like in the back of my head and then when it was on the side, but I haven't been like terrible. So at a point like, oh my, I'm like, oh my God, I need some Tylenol or nothing, you know, nah, it hasn't been that bad. I was able to you know it's bearable okay so what else this talks about hormone changes blah, 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 blah. so much information okay let's get into the next subtopic vaginal discharge your vaginal discharge may start looking different as labor approaches so it's worth keeping an eye on I, oh snaps it's so hot out here this oh no my phone oh, I'm burning my phone oh man I can't read no more, y'all. Dang it. The heat was getting to my phone, and my phone got to cool down now. Dang it. I can't use my phone. Darn it. Well, y'all, if y'all want to read more, just go ahead and head to the baby center. Before I forget, let me go do a bump shot, y'all. Show you my stomach, okay? So my foot this is my side 
things on the other side. <sighs> okay. My stomach is. I think I'll belly. It feels huge to me, y'all. It looks small to y'all, but it's big to me. <sighs> okay. That's it, y'all, for our 36 week update. Hey, y'all, so I'm back. Um, my phone did cool off a little for me to at least finish this part of the baby center. Okay, so I just wanted to insert this really quick. Okay, so as far as vaginal discharge, it says your vaginal discharge may start looking different as labor, labor approaches. So it's worth keeping an eye on. This is a thick glob of discharge. Could be your mucus plug dislodging, which is a sign of early labor. It says the mucus could be clear, pinkish, brownish, with a bit of blood. Okay, so I just at least wanted to read that part of it. Okay, I'm not going to read the rest of it. Um, another um, sub um, top, uh, subtitle, there you go. Um, dizziness. So it says dizziness during pregnancy is common due to cardiovascular changes. Your heart rate goes up with your heart um your heart pumps more blood per minute and the amount of blood in your body increases by 30 to 50 percent and i'm not going to go on with the rest of that because it's just long and extended and then the next one is pelvic pain so pelvic pain is often a sharp pain deep in your hips or groin though it can also feel like soreness stinging or burning about one in four expecting moms experience pelvic pain and is often and it often begins in the third trimester and can linger until months after you give birth. And it's associated with round ligament pains or what they call um, like lightning crotch and all that. Yeah, the lightning crotch thing, I've been getting that. It's, gosh, it's like a sharp jolt of lightning, like for real. Okay, the next one is your baby drops. If your baby drops down, you may feel additional pressure in your lower abdomen, which may make walking increasingly uncomfortable, and it is. <laughs> if your baby is very low, you may feel lots of vaginal pressure and discomfort as well. Some women say it feels as though they're carrying a bowling ball between the legs. What? Yeah, for sure. And that's pretty much it, y'all. So just want to put that insert in. That's it. All right. Bye, y'all. Stay tuned for more videos. Um, if you enjoyed this video, first of all, thank you for watching. Okay. Second of all, if you liked it, click that like button, subscribe, and click that bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. And whatever time of the day it is that you're watching this video, whether it's the morning, the afternoon, the evening, enjoy the rest of your day per usual. You guys, till next time, peace.